Hello, I am Pradipta and in this demo video, I will be providing a brief overview of confidential containers environment on OpenShift. A confidential container is a Kubernetes pod that runs inside a trusted execution environment. And uh, confidential containers on OpenShift is based on the CNCF confidential containers project. So let me spend a few minutes talking about the confidential containers architecture on OpenShift. In the picture you see, this is a high level schematic of the components involved when using confidential containers on OpenShift. So on the OpenShift worker node, you have Kata runtime with confidential containers extensions configured. And uh, just to recall, Kata containers enables running a Kubernetes pod inside a virtual machine. There is always a one-to-one -one mapping between a Kubernetes pod and a VM running that pod. So Kata containers runtime, which is uh, this one in the picture, it also supports the concept of remote hypervisor via this cloud API adapter component that you see in the picture. This enables creation of pods in remote VMs. Now this approach is also referred to as peer pods that you see here. So when you deploy or when you want to deploy your pod as a confidential container, Kata runtime with the help of Cloud API adapter creates a confidential VM, a confidential virtual machine and runs the pod inside this virtual machine. Now this approach, uh, this, this approach of uh, creating a confidential virtual machine and running the pod inside it enables lift and shift of existing workload, right? So this confidential virtual machine provides the trusted execution environment. Now this confidential VM running the pod contains few additional required components like the Kata agent, the agent protocol, forwarder, attestation agent. Now there are also few more components which uh, I have not shown here for brevity. Now, this attestation agent is responsible for starting the remote attestation process to prove the trustworthiness of this uh, trusted execution environment that is provided by the confidential virtual machine. And now to when when this attestation agent starts the remote attestation process, it sends uh, cryptographic evidences to the key broker service and uh, and if it if the attestation agent wants to retrieve any secrets, uh, then on successful verification of uh, on on successful verification of the evidences and and the claims, uh, the key broker service will release any required keys to the attestation agent. Now these keys can be used by the application for uh, decrypting any sensitive data that it may have or. These keys can also be used to decrypt a specific container image or all the container images that are there in the pod. In case if you are using an encrypted container image which gets decrypted only inside this trusted execution environment. So let's now, now with this uh, background, let's see my OpenShift cluster setup. So this is uh, my OpenShift cluster setup in Azure cloud. The confidential, the components required for confidential container solution are installed and configured via the OpenShift sandbox containers operator. Let me show you that. So this is the OpenShift sandbox containers operator and all the required components for a confidential container solution is configured and deployed via the sandbox containers. So the Kata config CR, this custom resource uh, that is that is there, it's used to configure the Kata runtime and other components on the worker node. So this is is this is already created in my environment. So as you can see, this these are few. So when we use confidential containers, enable peer pods needs to be set to true. Uh, as I as I mentioned previously, the Kata containers or is or the Kata runtime uses the peer pods approach to create the confidential containers using confidential VM in the public cloud. 
and uh, this runtime is configured on the nodes with the label coco true so is also another aspect one is uh, the runtime class like how do you go ahead and create confidential containers so when confidential containers is enabled via the sandbox containers operator the sandbox container operator also creates a runtime class and that runtime class is is actually used for creating the confidential pods so let me show you So you see these two runtime class. So in my current environment, the runtime class Kata Remote CC is used for creating confidential containers. But uh, note that for future versions, uh, we plan to change this to Kata Remote to align with uh, the changes uh, in the upstream CNCF confidential containers community. Now, let me also show you, I also spoke about the confidential uh, VM. Let me show you the confidential VM image. So this is, uh, so this is the resource group where the cluster is uh, deployed, uh, right? And this is my uh, image. This is the confidential VM image. And this is the base to run the confidential container. And this includes the components like Kata agent, data station agent, the agent protocol forwarder that we uh, saw in the picture uh, previously. So this is uh, the VM image. And let me also show you the key broker service. Uh, So this is the key broker service that is uh, that is running, and uh, and this key broker service is configured with the uh, application and container image decryption keys. Ideally, the KBS should be running in an environment that you trust, and uh, with the only requirement of the KBS being accessible from the cluster running or confidential containers. So this kind of summarizes uh, the environment overview for confidential containers in uh, follow-on demos uh, we'll cover some sample workloads deployed as confidential containers and also some other related scenarios